in previous video we talked about how to ingest the data into splunk phantom using either splunk save search export or data model export correct now in this video we will try to get a overview of whether after we receive event in splunk phantom how to investigate it okay so that that's the main stuff we'll be trying to see it and mainly we'll be talking about uh, the phantom ui and generally the security analyst how they resolve different kinds of event they receive in splunk phantom we will try to get an get a very brief idea about that one okay and then in next videos we'll go deeper into more technical stuff like how to create playbooks and run playbooks those stuff so if you if you are seeing over here like um, we, just just sim some sample events we have received in splunk phantom right now i just opened this oss ec event forward over here in this particular window so if you just click it here so it will take you to the phantom investigation window so now if you see it over here the first thing it is showing up over here is the event name the container name basically whatever we have given in our export i think this is the this is the save search export we have worked with now the first thing we will be seeing it is the timeline here so when this particular event has been created in splunk phantom so that timeline will be giving up will, will be shown up over here this is the first thing now there are a couple of other things before we move on the first thing we need to know as well is there are two type of view here if you see it one is the summary view and another is the analyst view now summary views if i just click on over here if you see this this these things like this activities workbooks and guidance these things are not shown up here so summary views are basically for the execs and for managers to see what is the current event status so they will not be able to see like what are the different other details like what are the different actions taken on those events and what are the workbooks has been created for as a part of resolving that particular event so they they will not be able to see that one so that's the kind of a summary view of the event now for the analyst view you will have more visibility on the activities on different workbooks you will be adding and some guidance as well like how to resolve an incidents and all okay now so that's the difference between a summary view and a analyst view now here on left of it one we have the owner so from here you will be able to assign to somebody else this particular event if you are not solving it you um, then you can assign to your team members over here so you, the assignment can be done based on the user and the role base as well now here if you see you can change the status of an event so let's say currently it is it is a new status because we have not worked on it till now so whenever you will be starting it you may be you will choose to move it to open okay so once we did that open you will see an interesting stuff in the activity over here if you see like one one message will be shown up over here like event status has been updated to open so that's the idea behind the activity step so whatever you will be changing as a part of this event it will be logged in this activity tag uh, activity window over here okay so that's the one now if you see it this this particular toggle window is there right now it has two parts one is hud the full form is heads up display so as part of hud you can basically get information about what's going on with your within your system let's say here you can basically configure hud cards so there are a lot of system defined like already defined predefined cards as well like if you just want to know how many remaining task is there or how many failed actions are there failed playbooks are there so you can choose it from here or you can try choose to create manually as well so like something like this one so let's say remaining task i'll just click on save 
so it it will be it will be shown up over here as a card over here if you see if i just close it so just like a splunk single value visualization it will be shown up over here similarly you can add your own card manually as well so let's say I, there are two options either you can have a simple text box or you can do a drop down as well so you can give this drop down value over here as a comma separated one okay so those things are also here so we we will see in the future videos whenever we will be working on these events through playbooks and all we will try to see use this these things uh, more thoroughly over there so for now i just cancel it we'll close it now the second part of it of this toggle window is you can see the event info like how many playbooks are run as a part of this particular event how many artifacts are there when this event has been created the when the activity has been started every details okay so so this is the this part now at the top if you see so there are two things this oss ec is the actual level name of this particular container right and there are two things the severity and the sensitivity drop downs over here now if you see the severity currently it is only having high medium and low now according to your project need you can add more severity values over here as well similarly for the status as well it is only new open and closed right so you can add more status value as well according to your need so for that you must be a phantom admin so let's go back to the administrator window to see how we can do that so once you log in as a phantom admin from this drop down you need to go to administration window now from here you need to go to event settings and if you see this status and severity so in the status so currently we are only having new open and resolved that means new open and closed so you can add more items over here as well so that is how you will be adding more status to your system and and for the severity also similar stuff so currently we are only having high medium and low you can add more items over here you can give the name let's say critical and you can select the color as well over here according to your need okay and then just click on done so this that will be adding the more severity values to your system now let's go back to the investigation window again so i am just i just not just did not add any other new values over here so another thing is very much important over here if you see this particular window here now here uh, here we have lot of tabs the first tab we already saw is the timeline like it will show up show up when this particular event has been created then all the different activities you have performed over here like the changing the status and all so everything is will be logged over here as well now the second stuff is the artifact here now as a part of this guy oss ec event forward we already created some artifacts here correct so this this level names we have given it there so if you remember like we we did it with this with this custom string there right so all this details will be shown up over here now from this window you have the option to create artifact as well so, so you can give the artifact name label the severity the ca field you can choose it from here the value data type everything you can choose even you can you can tag it as well so this is also you can do from this artifact window now evidence window basically when as a part of resolving this particular event what are the evidence you are having it you can add it over here okay even you can add notes as well over here so lot of stuff even i think you can add a artifact as evidence as well over here so those stuff also you can do maybe we will see in future videos as well so whenever we will be working on we will be working on step by step on these things so in this video we are just only taking a overview of it now as a part of resolving this issue you can add files as well so which you can do from this file step this is very straightforward now there are approvals as well now whatever actions you are going to take on this uh, as a part of this particular event resolving resolving this particular event 
so those actions can be controlled as well by the approvers maybe for approval process maybe we will i will try to create a separate video for that one okay so so that so if you have any approval involved in your event activities or or basically resolving this particular event so that will show up over here and from this tab you can basically create the report of it okay now if you see there are couple of buttons over here as well which always shows up in all this particular all these tabs over here is the action and the playbook now action means whatever action you are going to take while resolving this particular event now there are already default apps has been installed as a part of this particular phantom installation so i am using the community version currently so so there are a lot of apps like if i just go to buy app so there are like dns generator app is like it's just event generation for some sample event generation here max mind so max mind you can geolocate ip as well so you can you can do this kind of you can configure this kind of action over here while resolving this particular event so using this action button you can achieve those stuff okay so for now i will just not do it now we will see it in in future videos how different actions can be taken so this is the action and you can run some playbook as well as a part of this one now there are already some playbooks defined with this community version of this phantom even whatever playbook we will be creating it will be shown up over here as well so then we will try to run this playbook as a part of this event as well okay so from here you will basically run a playbook for to resolve this particular incident or or take some certain kind of actions over there so this is this this two buttons over here and whenever we will be we will be done working with resolving this particular event like we have taken some actions like 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 blocking an ip or or unlocking an user so those type of actions then if we are satisfied with all this stuff then we can close this particular event so that also we can do from the status so that will basically resolve this particular event in splunk phantom so that's the overall cycle over here and whatever you will be doing it from if you just go to the main splunk phantom dashboard so all will be shown up over here like the how many events you have resolved all these things like mean dwell time mean time to resolve how much time you saved how much dollar you saved all this so this basically gives us an overview of what's going on into the system like we have already seen some of it like what are the different open events are there and even by status then what are the playbooks we have run what are the different data sources we have events by by label severity sensitivity and status as well so all this stuff over here it will be showing even even these are the default asset we have seen just now when in the in the action button so we those those asset and their health when they have used everything it will shown up over here even the approval status as well everything it will be shown up over here as a part of this particular dashboard okay so this is this is what phantom ui is now this is very intuitive in nature like there is not much to discuss over here the main part we will be focusing on in, on maybe like create creation of new apps or creation of new playbooks using python that would be more more useful over there okay so hopefully this video was helpful see you in the next video